In 50 years, brothers and sisters, I've had the privilege to cover the world in my assignment as a general authority of the Church. It's been a wonderful blessing. There's almost, I think, almost all the parts of the world I've, I've got pretty close to. I've met with members of the, of the Church all over the world. Oh, how I love you. What a glorious experience that's been to look into your faces, be in your presence and feel your love that you have for the Lord and for the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. His is a mission of condescension. Jesus Christ will meet us where we are, as we are. This is the why of the garden, the cross, and the tomb. The Savior was sent to help us overcome, but staying where we are won't bring the deliverance we seek. Just as he didn't leave Jacob there in the dirt, the Lord doesn't intend to leave any of us where we are. His is also a mission of ascension. He will work within us to lift us up to where he is and, in the process, enable us to become as he is. Jesus Christ came to lift us. He wants to help us become. This is the why of the temple. We must remember, it's not the Course alone that will exalt us. It's the Companion, our Savior. And this is the why of covenant relationship. At uh, baptism, one of the promises that we make is that we are willing to take upon us the name of Jesus Christ. My purpose today is to remind us that we can show God that we take the name of His Son upon ourselves by bearing testimony in word and deed, and as often as we can, that Jesus is the Christ. Though choices may have taken you far away from the Savior and His Church, the Master Healer stands at the road that leads home, welcoming you. And we, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, seek to follow his example and embrace you as our brothers and sisters, as your friends. We rejoice and celebrate with you. Your return will not diminish the blessings of others, for the Father's bounty is infinite, and what is given to one does not in the slightest diminish the birthright of others. I do not pretend that coming back is an easy thing to do. I can testify of that. It may, in fact, be the toughest choice you will ever make. But I bear witness that the moment you decide to return and walk in the way of our Savior and Redeemer, His power will enter your life and transform it. Angels in heaven will rejoice, and so will we your family in Christ. After all, we know what it's like to be a prodigal. We all rely daily on the same atoning power of Christ. We know this path, and we will walk with you. No leader has ever shown more courage, no humanitarian more kindness, no physician has cured more disease, and no artist has been more creative than Jesus Christ. In a world of heroes, with monuments and museums devoted to the exploits of mortal men and women, there is one who stands above all others. I testify that Jesus Christ is not only our hero, He is our Lord, our King, the Savior and Redeemer of mankind. I testify that the Lord has kept His promise. The Holy Ghost is being sent to the faithful covenant members of the Church of Jesus Christ. Now your experiences will be unique, and the Spirit will guide in the way best suited to your faith and capacity to receive revelation for you and for those you love and serve. <laughs> 